Believe in Me, Who Believes in You is the brand new album from Aries, who joins us here in San Francisco. Dude, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is quite the momentous occasion, the first show of your big tour. Yeah. Quite exciting. This is a tour that has been a long time coming. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. I feel uh, well rested, you know. Two years rested. Um, yeah, two years rested. Um, it's almost like a mental thing, you know, how boxers will do ghost boxing, you know, they're fighting against, or shadow boxing. It's basically like that. I'm at home just hyping myself up right in here. Well, you clearly weren't just sitting around doing nothing. You yeah. created this great album that you released late last year. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Was there a particular moment that helped to inspire that particular moment of, oh, I'm onto something here? Like when the album started forming, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good question, because for a long time, I was kind of just making individual songs, and I didn't necessarily have a concept. But I did have the concept of just this, like, because the whole album, sorry to go on a tangent, but the whole album name that is not actually out there is Believe in Me Who Believes in You, colon, Journey to the Sun. So I left out the Journey to the Sun part, but um, yeah, I kind of just had this, like, I've always kind of had this sun aesthetic, I would say, like, in my earlier music that's not released publicly. But, um, yeah, I kind of use this sun imagery and aesthetic, so to say, as, um, yeah, the fuel, the fuel for this music. And once I started really seeing the pieces kind of just appear themselves, I, all I did was just apply the glue a little bit and an album formed. Now, this is very telling for which, how you approach music, very much in the visual sense. Yeah. And with this particular album, the cover was kind of the catalyst and, and, and a part of that, right? It started off yeah. as a photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from that, you created the artwork for mm -hmm. the album and emphasized the sun like you just talked about. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, I have the sketchbook actually at home. I mean, I wouldn't have brought it here because I'm on tour now, but um, I have the sketchbook at home where basically every single thing that I've photographed or like drawn out, I've photographed and I'm putting like Photoshop. Everything for this whole album is in this like sketchbook. I gotta do something with it. I gotta like um, turn it into like a book that people can, I don't know, see yeah. online or buy or something. We've heard other artists talk about how color comes into play in creating the music, the sonics of it, right? Yeah. And you just emphasize how the sun played an integral part of this. Would you categorize the music on this album as joyful and happy, or I feel like there are moments where it's not? Um, it is, yeah, I, I think, I think uh, that's pretty accurate to say that there's moments where it does feel joyful and uplifting, and then there's moments where it does feel like somber and uh, nostalgic and just kind of like yearning for the past kind of thing. Um, has all that in there. That's like not really doing it justice, just putting it in that way. But yeah, just what is it about the sun that really <clears throat> gravitates you toward creating art and revolving around that? Yeah. So I mean, the sun for me, um, it's a lot of things. I mean, I grew up very much reclusive. Um, the sun was always kind of like, I'd look out the window, I'd be like, damn, one day I'll. Uh, make really good music in here, I'll get uh, successful and I'll be able to go out and do shows and um, just be outside and the sun was like a goal, you know? The sun was like a goal for me. It's weirdly interesting because you grew up in Southern California and uh, for the most part, right, the Southern California lifestyle yeah. involves a lot of outdoor activity and those Definitely. kind of things. Were you not a surfer, a skateboarder, no. active? I was very much an anxious homebody, I would say. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason for that? Because as a youth, there's a lot of activity for which you can create uh, a, a space for yourself, uh, an opportunity for you to kind of get your feelings out, right? Mm -hmm. 
So that's a very interesting take and in, in yeah. growing up. So yeah, I mean, the reason for me being so, I guess, anxious and stuff. I mean, I was like totally cool. I was a, I wouldn't say like a bad kid, you know, but I, I hung around some older kids when I was in like seventh grade or so, and I'd smoke weed with them, and we would smoke, and uh, uh, I'd started getting like panic attacks, like doing it every day with these these guys and uh, I mean at that time I didn't know what it was I was like 13 or so um, Wow 13 years old 13 yeah smoking weed smoking weed and uh, it's funny like I would I would tell my mom like yo I feel something like in my heart I didn't tell her I smoked weed at the time but like I'd, I'd be like yeah there's something like I feel like just off you know because I before then it was just I was living like a very ignorant a, a blissfully ignorant life that a kid should live you know yeah um, but yeah, that turned me very, I just became very anxious and I didn't really want to leave my house that often. Like I, I stopped hanging out with friends just cause I was scared. I would have like a panic attack on the way over to like a friend's house that I would go to all the time. Um, so yeah, it became very debilitating for me at that time. And was that I'll, a reaction to weed? Because I feel like a lot of people People that say reaction, that, I don't right? know. I think, I think it was something that was just bound to happen. Hmm. Um, in my life at some point, you know? Maybe it could have been a trigger. I don't think about that too much. I think it's almost like a blessing though, because it was so debilitating for me that I would just stay at home in my bedroom where I had my bed right here, my computer and my MIDI keyboard. I would mess around with music here and there, but um, I had my computer and my MIDI keyboard just like right in front of me. And I ended up just getting really into taking music seriously because I was just at home all the time. So, but it really didn't affect your personality because you were still driven yeah. making YouTube videos about how to mimic or how, how songs were sure. made and, and breaking them down and those kind of things and sure. really established yourself as a personality online. Yeah. So taking that experience, was that a way for you to come back into <clears throat> the real world and doing this tour? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always wanted to do shows, so it's so interesting, you know, like it really made me like those, that anxious, very anxious time in my life. And I'm not saying like, I'm not anxious anymore. You know, it's something that like mental health is always something I keep on the top of my priority list, you know, as everybody should. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just something that has become a part of me. And uh, did you have to go through therapy? Did you? Yeah, I, I did go through therapy. Mm -hmm. I was on, uh, meds for a bit, mm -hmm. um, but it's just uh, just working through it for me helped. Because it's a journey. It, it really never yeah. ends, right? I mean, yeah. Once you feel that way, it takes a lot of work on yourself to be able to Definitely. overcome that. And like you just said, I'm sure even now before you get on stage, you're going to feel anxious. I actually don't anymore. Really? Not before playing a show. Like I, it's funny. Uh, when I on my first tour, I did definitely get some nerves and stuff, but. Now I kind of have to like slap myself awake a little bit, you know, <laughs> like I almost get too calm. I'm like, what's going on? Um, but I think that's just because I, I love doing this so much and I feel very much in my skin. Because mm -hmm. it's know? just so comfortable for you. Yeah, and these songs are like my babies, you know, like I made them all and I know them like the back of my hand and it's just, this is the place where I feel most comfortable. Weirdly enough, and there just happens to be thousands of people in front of me. Well, I appreciate your time. Congrats on this album again. Thank you so much. Look forward to the show and best of luck with everything. Appreciate it, man. It is uh, Aries, and you're watching B-Sides.